So it's uh, just clicked over six bells in the morning and uh, Pendle's come pick me up. We're on our way at the airport um, to do a photo shoot for Emirates uh, out in their new plane and new facilities we got out there. So at the same time we'll be uh, announcing the leadership group and the leadership structure for 2013 season. Uh, which was decided early January uh, this year, but we've held off to make sure we could do it uh, in conjunction with one of our partners who have been so good to us for so long. Uh, our captain for 2013 uh, to continue uh, would be, will be Nick Maxwell. Um, the vice captain will be Scott Pendlebury and uh, dual deputy vice captains in uh, Luke Ball and Dane Beams. It's a great honour to be the captain for this great football club again. And although we've only got four of us in the leadership group, I think that we work pretty well together and complement each other well. And um, also the fact that there is only those four guys doesn't mean that we're the only guys there leading. We've got a lot of senior players who we expect to step up and. Um, take on leadership roles uh, within the club and even the new guys who came to the club with Hutto and Jordan Russell, Youngie and Quint Lynch, uh, those guys have all got leadership attributes as well so we've probably got 15 guys who could be part of the leadership group um, and we're still going to be calling on those guys and got high expectations of them as leaders. I think with all the new guys that we've got coming in, um, there's two elements to it. There's the senior players who, they really have to learn our game style and our game plan and really get to a point where they know their role within that game plan. Uh, and they're the guys I guess you, you really want to fast track because they're older guys. So we didn't get them here to play VFL footy, we got them here to really contribute to the senior team. And uh, with the younger guys, I guess it takes more time because they haven't been part of the AFL system before, so they don't understand uh, all the, I guess, lingo that we use and uh, also what's expected from day-to-day -day basis in terms of their own preparation and the way they handle themselves. But impressively, a lot of those young guys have um, really fast-tracked themselves and really attacked it all and have now understand what is required and understand what uh, their role is within our game plan. Photo day is always fun. Uh, it's it's always interesting to see which guys have uh, just got the fresh haircut and uh, which guys are in the mirror gelling up. But um, look, Heater and Dids are probably the ones we like to listen to the most because uh, they're both just mad and they like getting stuck into everyone and, uh, and throwing in a few jokes there. So at times it can be hard to keep a straight face and try and do it properly, but those guys make it entertaining for us. The first NAB Cup game, obviously Bulldogs and Essendon, uh, was a bit different because we were warming up in the car park because um, we were the second and third game. Uh, but look, it was it was just good to get back out there and play footy against an opposition because once you go through the whole pre-season, you get sick of playing against each other and um, you really want to play against someone else. This is for nine. What sweet, sweet timing. Flip down McAffer. Cracker through some legs, rolls it home, and it's game on. It was good to get the two wins. We were a bit lucky in the second game, um, but in the end, a win's a win. So it was uh, it was good to get off the mark and actually see some of our guys who came into the team um, who haven't been with the club before, and also guys coming back from injury like McCaffer um, play really well. I guess the second game when we went across and played the Eagles. Um, People may have looked at the two squads and thought that we might have struggled because um, we did leave a fair few guys behind. But the way that our guys applied themselves to the game plan and the way we wanted them to play, um, we were really impressed with. And I guess that started up forward with the, with the small fours of Elliot and Sinclair and Mooney and those guys really putting on uh, that pressure in the forward half that uh, we really now expect of our small forward. Elliot created that brilliant start. Dwyer finishes it. Jamie Elliott was able to just work his way through it so cleverly. Seedman was also good to see what he's capable of. I think we've seen glimpses of what he can do. And again, that was uh, a glimpse of what he's capable of playing that wing and half back role. So all in all, uh, 
it was a good result for us um, to go over there with a few guys uh, who you'd say are in our best 22, so to speak, um, not part of the, the team, and see other guys step up, and um, that's what's that was in, was impressive about that game. Going to the third game against uh, the Lions, we weren't really talking about making a grand final or anything like that. It was just about how we wanted to play and every game we've started, every game we play, we want to win. Um, but look, it didn't turn out that way. Uh, we were missing quite a few senior players, but we still expect the younger guys to come in and play the roles that are expected of them. And I think that um, some of those guys did. Just hurling it forward, Pies need to respond quickly. Kennedy squeezes the kick out, it's not bad. Nice Better than that, it's a goal. Frost, Martin, Dwyer, uh, Benny Kennedy, uh, all, all young guys at the club. I thought they were outstanding, the way they played their role uh, within our structures. And they all impressed enough to think that they could be a chance early on in the season. So if we've got more depth like we have right at this minute, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good for us um, as a team. And we're going to get better because guys are going to be pushing each other to to try and get past them. So that's what you want. We want Frosty trying to get rid of Reedy and Nathan Brown because um, they're a tall defensive role. So um, if we've got that, it's, it's healthy for us as a club and it can only make us better. It wasn't many positives. I think probably maybe some of our players took it as a practice match. and. Uh, pleasing thing was Sam Dwyer's form was was, was very good um, but uh, I think we can take uh, take some solace that we've had a very good pre-season big a big pre-season um, form in Perth was was good last week we had a very young side disappointing loss today against Geelong but in the end I think overall uh, it has been a successful pre-season um, yes we have only one two lost to when the games came around but um, we also found a few young guys you can't just say it's a once-off. We know we've got to take some lessons out of it. Got to learn from it. Um, there's a learn, you know, thing for a bit of improvement. But I've got no doubt with the calibre and the quality of the players we've got and the character of the players, there's no doubt we'll have a big round one.